popping out the rivet screws and taking out the screws on the four corners. Now I'm popping off the little covers for the grab handle and taking out the 10 millimeter bolts from each side. Now I'm just pulling back that cowl cover, disconnecting it from the side pillars and putting it down on the ground. Next I'm taking out the 10 millimeter screws that are holding the tail lights on and the 10 millimeter screws that are also going to be holding on that uh, trunk trim where the camera is located. There's three screws. Next I'm yanking up on the gray clips that are securing that trim onto the trunk. There's a lot of them and they're a little hard to get. Here's my assistant helping me take it off. And here we are locating the camera. Two little Phillips heads and it comes out looking pretty bad. I'm hoping this is the problem. And there's a plug here. All right guys, the camera's gonna be right in here. You're gonna take it out. It's in pretty bad condition, it looks pretty salted up. You guys see that? Yeah. So we're gonna replace it with the new one and see what happens. Let's go ahead and do that. It's just a simple two screws here, two Phillips head, and then this plug. Looks like a Deutsch connector. Uh, plugs into that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna have my lovely assistant go over there and throw the car in reverse and see if that does anything. Yes, works, guys. So here's the problem. All right, go cool. throw it into a park for me. Throw it one more time in the reverse, just in case. All right, look at that. I've noticed why this camera is getting salt and pretty corroded. You can take a look right on here. Water is leaking down, making its way into this panel. Look how filthy this panel is, full of salt and pollen, and it's corroding this. So I think what is a good idea is to actually apply RTV, at least in this area over here, before we attach this panel back on to prevent any water or moisture from coming down and attacking this new camera. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean this area out so the RTV has something to stick to. This looks like a faulty design by Hyundai. All right, the product I'm gonna be using is called GeoCell. It's white, unfortunately, but we won't see it because it's going to be underneath here. And um, this is the best roofing material. It's basically an RTV sealant. It's polymer, gutter, and narrow seam sealant. This is really good stuff. It dries. It's like a 10-year RTV sealant. So we're going to apply it around this area here to prevent any salt or moisture from coming downward. Where'd you get that? Here's the other thing I'm also gonna do. Black RTV, I'm gonna apply it around the camera. So when it does go in, it, it should create a better seal or barrier. You know what else I noticed actually? Take a look at the housing of the camera. This one's painted, this one was not. So maybe that's an updated camera that they realize that it's, it's going bad. But regardless, we're gonna go ahead and add RTV to it. Just a light little dose on the border of it. And around the wire. So if any moisture does make its way back in this area, the RTV will protect it. Hopefully this will add a little bit more moisture barrier to the camera. All right, so we popped the camera back in the same way we took the old one out. Now we're just gonna secure it. And we're just going to plug it back in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this fascia back on. Gently. And we're 
we're going to double check that camera one last time. Go ahead and put the car in reverse and see what we get. All right, look at that. So we're just going to reapply our fasteners and basically do everything in reverse. And this job should be done. But we're going to do one last step when we're done. We're going to actually apply a little bit more RTV from the exterior to make sure nothing else gets up in that camera area. I'm working. And she's watching Shrek. What? Unbelievable. She's useless. Absolutely useless. I said you're useless. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. It's the end of the video. We installed that rear camera. She's a happy girl right now. By the way, that's Xena girl. Um, I want to give a huge thank you to HyundaiOEMParts.com. Uh, that's HyundaiOEMParts.com. I'll have all the links below in the description box. They hooked us up, and they can hook you up too also with the camera. This video will serve as the install. HyundaiOEMParts.com will serve as the parts supplier. Together you could solve a lot of problems and save a lot of money. So anything you want to say to HyundaiOEMParts.com? Just a big thank you. Just a big thank you. She's extremely thankful. Believe me, she is. No, honestly, thank you, HyundaiOEMParts.com. Uh, I've worked with a couple people in that dealership. They are an awesome group of people. Pay them a visit. Give them a call. Let them know I sent you. They might knock off a little, uh, you know, some more bucks off the actual item you want to buy. Um, yeah, so that's the install. Thanks for watching. It's I'm Shrek, and I am out.